Dude, Dan's gone full, like, conspiracy theory, Charlie. Oh my god, my spine looks so ridiculous in here with the cat ears. We finally get to see what's behind the door. The Office of Naval Intelligence always did like to bury their secrets. You would know, he used to be part of that. See you at the bottom. Ow! That's it? Wait, that's the whole cutscene? I want to know what's down below. Maybe we have to play a match of the new BTB Unlimited playlist, which is going to be just super big team escalation slayer. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Vite Ramen. Vite Ramen is a small US-based company that provides a far more tasty, fulfilling, and more importantly, healthier option than your typical ramen brands. In less than three minutes, one packet of Vite Ramen gives you more food than the leading ramen brands, 25% of your daily micronutrients, up to 30 grams of protein, 7 grams of dietary fiber, and most importantly to me, 50% less sodium to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Where the leading brand is really just salt and carbs. Vite Ramen also has vegan plant-based versions as well. My favorite is the Sichuan Chili, as it actually packs a punch of heat along with a filling bowl of ramen. I mean, look at me, isn't that the face of satisfaction right there and why give your money to the corporate overlords we can help out a small business so check out the link in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video to give Vite Ramen a look over and thank you very much Vite Ramen for sponsoring this video all right we join a match in progress we're starting out with the sword some extra little goodies here let's slide into this boy right here yeah oh we got like the crazy fast fire rate sniper rifle this isn't your normal one there we go. Let's little one, two. Oh wow, you really need to lead your shots with this thing. One thing I will say, I'm very glad that 343 actually took the time to at least make some variation or some difference when it comes to the playlist right now. Usually what happens with these events, I'll just kind of bring back the previous mode and it's kind of like, yeah, it's not nearly as fun or as exciting. Even though this is like the same main mode that we had last time, right? Escalation Slayer. But this time it's with BTB and that really is going to mix up the gameplay experience enough to where it's going to be feeling kind of like a new game or a new kind of mode. One thing though, I do kind of wish that they would throw in some vehicles with it. I think that would be kind of a fun thing. Like we do know that there is a capability within like a Halo game mode that you can spawn in with a vehicle. We've seen it done with multiple times within the Forge mode. Oh, we got ourselves the campaign variant of the Kneeler. This is exciting, okay. Another way to mix it up a little bit more. Oh, here I got off the weapon. Well, I wanted to shoot something, but all right. But I don't know, maybe like vehicles would be kind of interesting thing to kind of just block players from advancing rather than being like another weight or another item that you can advance with that comes to escalation slayer i just feel like vehicles are a key aspect of the btb gameplay experience you know I can't see. That was a cool little thing I did with the drop wall right there. It actually did a lot more damage too. That was cool. Also, I would say that the campaign variants work well with the BTB version of Escalation Slayer, but like for a 4v4 version, I don't know if I necessarily would agree with it, but maybe it would actually work out all right. It's more of a kind of like a fun party fiesta kind of mode, which we do know how much Super Fiesta was, but one of the most popular modes within Halo 5. But damn! It's cool that this thruster right here has the ability to go camo. But it's so short that I don't think I really get a chance to utilize it because, like, come on, man. Ah, that would have been so cool if I was actually able to take advantage of being camo. But you're camo for such a short amount of time that you don't really get to take advantage of it, I feel like. This assault rifle rips. Look how tiny the reticle is on here. Oh, good double. Yeah, chain it up, buddy. Make it happen. Triple. Maybe we have that over. Oh no, they got the kill. Oh, yeah, that was a cool little clip though, right? Oh my god, this is, there's no bloom with this thing. Oh, just click, just click a bunch. Eventually you get a kill. Oh, I can't believe that guy did not get me with that gravity hammer. Hey, look at that. We walked away with the dub. That was a good game. Luckily, there's always someone else on YouTube who posts the whole thing. So let's take a look at it. Oh, it's interesting to see like what a sparring looks like without all the different armor plates on him. Oh, what? There's so much more to see. The entire history. 
Only Ratus is taking over. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that last part was actually really cool. Gave us some resolution of what's behind the door, but also a look forward to what's happening next. With the recent leaks and rumors pointing towards infection coming with season four and infection being like an AI infection with the Ratus taking over Spartans or something like that. That cutscene definitely seems to line up with what we've seen with the leaks. And just like the previous narrative event, we have these cool visual effects that happen on some of the BTB maps kind of showcasing some kind of weird thing happening with the simulations that happen with the multiplayer side of things, which this stuff is great. This really just makes it feel like there's an event happening within Halo rather than just another event pass for you to grind through. And talking about event passes to grind through, let's check it out. I know I did cover this in my previous video when it kind of leaked out originally, but let's take an official look through what we can have for this wonderful list of items right here. So we get a backdrop, uh, first bit of a, a plate. If you just want to call that right there for like the belt. Uh, you also get the blue pop visor. You get the bold industry coating. The Bellis helmet, which actually I've seen a lot of references towards Dead Space when it comes to this helmet. I didn't see it at first, but now I totally see it. So that's actually kind of a cool thing. You actually get an attachment along with that helmet as well. Field analyst stance. I mentioned this previously that Den was previously a field analyst for Oni. So a bit of a tie in here. Get some decent looking shoulder pads there as well. On top of that, you also get the different chest piece. It's kind of tough to see with this angle right here, but this is a chest piece that gets going kind of put on top of your shoulders. The weekly ultimate, you get the pale shadow coating for your DMR, which this does look pretty nice, pretty clean. I do like this. I might actually grind it out for it. Now, you know, we had to check out the shop, which interesting thing. It's all returning items that we've had previously. I believe this was available for the first week of season three, if I remember correctly, but you definitely get a whole set of armor, which actually looks kind of cool. So that's up to your opinion. If you feel like this is worth it for you right there. You get the kinetic instruction, which is just a coating, but I mean, it's a nice looking coating, but nothing too crazy. So I think I'll pass on that. The spring growth, we've seen this one around a bunch. This will go up pretty much all your different weapons that you have within Halo Infinite. Looks nice, 700 credits. I think I'll pass on that again. Uh, we can do it. It's a stance. If it wants to, it actually kind of decides to load in. There you go. That's what it looks like. You also have the Ghost Lines visor as well as the Wasteland River coating, which this is really unique. This is actually kind of a cool looking one. Also interesting thing I want to point out for you guys, apparently with this week's update with Rumble Pit, you can actually have a fire team of up to four players and search together in a free for all match, which is a great addition that people have been asking for. For quite some time glad to see that update finally came in now we recently saw some more confirmation about the implementation of the unreal engine with the halo franchise if you guys want to know more about it check out this video right here thank you much for watching catch you on the next one peace out